Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. As you can see, I have not even unpaused since the end of the last episode. We are moments after I finished recording that one. This is being recorded immediately following it. We are going to push through the Horde Knight, probably this episode. Let's just kind of roll right back into things. Alright, so I've got two layers up here. I've got two layers around there. Let's get myself... Let's see. Let's get up through here. Oh, you need some repairs. Come on, be repaired. There we go. Alright, let's kind of get... Ooh, you have need of repair as well. All right, we just, just kind of get right to here, to this edge of the porch, and then we can go around the other side, I think. It'll... It's not ideal, but we don't have time for ideal. I don't got time to bleed. All right. That's not going to leave me with enough wood to deal with any additional broken spikes, I find. But we're going to have to do... Just kind of cope. We're going to have to cope. All right, we're up to the edge there. We've got two layers of spikes there, so I'm going to call this side good for the moment since we need to prioritize. And we're going to come around here. So I've only got one set of spikes right along here. Let's start back here, though. I feel like that area is not quite as important as getting this big long bit. So let's kind of do this. Just kind of... Oh. Was I not quite in the right spot? I might not have been. Alright. There we go. And of course, I got my spikes crafting as I dig. So, we're gonna... We're, we're trying to make the most of what little time we have left. And boy, is it little time. I don't know that we're going to be able to finish this even if I had the resources on me, which I don't think I have enough resources. I might. Yeah. All right. That that'll 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 be a thing. All right. That one's facing the wrong way. I don't care about aesthetics so much at the moment. Although I do want to try and get them right if I, you know, as I put them down. I'm not going to go and tear that down to fix it. Not on Horde Night. Not on, not on Rex Manning Day. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. The first part of this episode is going to be much like the last. Because, like I said, moments after finishing it. Because we really need to get this done. I need to leave myself enough spikes to finish closing up some of this stuff, too. Otherwise, the zombies are going to walk right past the spikes. <clears throat> it's a problem. It is, in fact, a problem. I'm... Need to get this stuff done faster. So, after this... I mean, I've got those junk turrets... I really wish I could put those out, but I don't think I can do it without the skill. Like, even though I found them, I think that's something that I can't deploy them without the skill. I'll try. I will, in fact, give it a shot, but I don't think it's a thing I can do. All right, so right here, let's get these guys in. All right, well, right there's my line for where my base is protected versus not. Let's dig this hole. I might want to actually dig... Yeah, I'll be fine. <coughs> We're going to just put regular spikes up on, you know, up on the level there. So I'm going to need uh, at least six sets of spikes, I think. 
in order to close myself off properly. And I don't want to leave much in the line of holes without spikes in them. So I think we're going to do that. Wow, I've almost burned through this entire shovel again. We'll have to see how far this can get us. But I'm not super confident that it's going to be enough to kind of wrap around the corner here. Now, on the plus side, this is going to give us plenty of clay to work with for all the stuff we're going to need it for in the future. And, of course, we will probably expand this more in the future as well. So, you know, additional levels to the moat. So, we'll continue getting more. I really do need to figure out how the new farming is going. Let's see. Two is nine. Eight. Seven. Yeah. I can get one more in, I think. Maybe. If the shovel holds out. Ooh, yeah. All right. All right, that is probably about as far as I'm going to get, because I don't think that shovel's going to manage another hole. So let's... Well, let's see, we got a bit of time left. Let's try and get a bit more wood. It'll help us repair and stuff. Oh, you know, you know what? We're just barely past the halfway point on the XP so I, you know, for the next level. So I really don't want to do that. Let's start closing ourselves off. There's that. I will get... Well, I guess I only needed one for back here because I only have one layer back here. That's actually going to be a problem, I think. But let's get the front. We have closed that off. Good. We can hold off on closing it off right here till we are, you know, basically ready for that. Let's, uh, do I get XP for breaking things like this? Yes, a little bit. Not much, though. And I wanted to clean this stuff up anyway. So I guess we'll just kind of busy ourselves in the backyard here until it is uh, time for the night. And yes, all those are things that we're going to have to uh, deal with. I do like the fact that I've got this here. I really wish I could have finished that a bit more. So we'll just kind of clean up a little bit back here, do some stuff. We've got two layers of defense around the entirety of the backyard. We have one layer of defense inside the backyard, you know, going to the house. Actually, two layers in a couple of spots. We've got two layers around the vast majority of the house. The only spot where it really doesn't have two layers is right along here. Let's kind of poke our nose out. You can see right this stretch right there doesn't have a second layer. The odds of them coming at su in such a way that they hit this exact spot is very slim. Of course, now that I've said that, it's going to happen. <laughs> Unless the fact that I said it's going to happen you know, negates it out. But, ultimately, it's a thing. What is that? No, I don't want to do that. Oh, right, okay. Let's just kind of... See, I'd love to replace all of this with the stone, but we don't have time, because I don't have the stone. I got some stone, but not enough for that. Oh, speaking of, I have six additional feathers. Uh, therefore, we will make ourselves some more crossbow bolts. I should probably sort a bunch of this stuff away. Oh, well. All right. We're just going to clean up the junk around the yard a little bit. I think 
We are about as good as we're going to get. Did I loot that? Yes. I are wet. That's great. All right. We're uh, probably about as good as we're getting. So there's that. Let's kind of split that. Let's actually pull you out and put the wood in. Turn on. We'll just kind of let some of that stuff go in. Oh! I was still processing iron. All right, we'll let that sit for a few. I wonder how many episodes that's been sitting. All right. We're basically to the point where we're just kind of stuck here waiting for the worst to happen. It sucks, but that's kind of a thing. You know what? Since we're just sitting here like this, I am going to go ahead and pause the recording. And I will come back when the horde's about to show up. I will see you then. Alright, I'm back. We have less than a half hour till sundown. The sky has gone red. It has been, you know, thunder and lightning for hours now. All these things are, you know, basically clues to clueless players that something bad's about to happen. It's about to be horde night. Yeah, thunder and lightning like that. <clears throat> so basically that's for people who can't do math. Obviously, if you can't figure out that day seven is Horde Night, you have problems. But, you know, servers get up into the hundreds of days and it starts to get a little bit hard to do in your head after a little bit. So this, good clues. In the future, at least. So I've positioned myself sort of here. I'll be able to, to pop out onto this and see three sides of the building. Because I don't know what direction the horde is going to come from, but it's about to come. And uh, I've got my rifle. I've got the crossbow on me. I grab my med kits. I'm basically doing everything I can to keep myself, you know, as ready as possible. I don't recall how bad night the first horde night is. I know it's not as bad as the others, but here we go. Well, there's a zombie. That's not the Horde, though. Oh, is that the Horde? I already hear them. Oh, look at that. They're already coming in. They're coming in from everywhere, it sounds like. This is not good. They are... Tearing through those things. Oh, I missed. That's not good. I might have to flee at some point. Which, of course, is bad in the middle of the night. They're tearing through all kinds of stuff. Oh, look at this. There's, They're just popping in. Like, it used to just be there was a horde that would spawn in and that was it. Now they're just kind of coming in all willy-nilly. Yeah, I think they, they might already be in the house. Okay, at least some of them are dying on the spikes. That's good. There we go. Took that one's head off. Alright, not seeing anything there. Oh, hello. Dang it. My shooter skill's not so good. I might want to get my uh, blunderbuss on here. Just in case I have to switch to close range. Oh, they're coming in from all sides. Yeah, they definitely changed the way the horde works. This is now looking like it's going to just be a constant stream. That sounds like they're inside. Oh yeah, look at that. There they are. We're, uh, 
Gonna have to deal with this sooner rather than later. That one's dead, at least. Oh, man. This is not good. This is very not good. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello! Yep, we need to go. Time to go. Time to uh, switch to Blunderbuss. Oh, yeah, that's me stunned. Come on. All right, med kit. Oh, come on. Why am I not loaded? All right, healing. Still healing. They're still running into spikes out there. Whew. Come on. Come on. I don't know how long it's going to keep spawning waves, because it didn't used to do it this way. It used to just be one horde of zombies, and once it was taken care of, that was it for the night. Now they seem to just keep coming. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Alright, that's that one dead. Is that it? I don't hear anymore. Did I survive? I may have survived. And I didn't even wear out the gun or run out of bullets. I only went through about half my ammo. I went through all of my blunderbuss ammo. Saving myself at close range. I'm not seeing any more spawn. I think... We may have just managed to survive. Now, we're obviously going to have to wait till morning in order to see what the damage is. Because I still don't want to go down just in case there's any regular spawning zombies in range. But this was actually a pretty decent holdout spot. That wasn't too bad. Now, obviously they got in somehow, so at least a door is broken, possibly some walls. Obviously, there's going to be a bunch of spikes. We're going to have to figure out exactly what we're going to do. All right. Okay. Hey, day eight, and the little red one away. The lightning is still going on. But all right, I'm going to go ahead, pause up again, and we'll come back once we have daylight. I will see you then. All right, we're back again. And it is now dawn of day eight. Although I have not strayed from my perch, just trying to be safe. The red fog is finally lifting. And other than a little bit more lightning and stuff, there really wasn't much more going on. So we're now we're going to have to survey the damage. Uh, doors, blocks, and spikes are all going to have to be replaced. Yeah, look at this. This door is definitely toast. Um... Back here... Okay, they never came to this door. Which does mean we're going to have to chop these spikes down. There we go. So let's do that. Looks like... They all decided to come to the front door. Like I said, you never know what direction... Oops, that's not what I wanted. You never know what direction they were going to come from. So you had to be prepared in all directions. Got that, we got that. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, what am I doing? Let's get that back in place and fix that. Alright. Open you up. Take out the spikes. I probably shouldn't have had that particular hole there. But, alright, so let's take a quick look around. Oh, it does look 
like they came through this door, though. That's fine. I don't know what... I guess they must... Anybody that came through this door must have immediately died. I'm not noticing any damaged spikes, though. Hmm. Maybe over here? Ah! They tried to come over here and died on these spikes. I see. I see. Okay. Well, since we're not actually planning on using that as a door, let's go ahead... Actually, let's start sorting our stuff out. We are going to need to put some of this stuff away. Uh, let's go ahead and just kind of... Hmm, do I want out there? I do want out there. All right. Bam. Bam. That is now wall, not door. As for the rest, we're going to need to start working on that. All right, let's put away some of this stuff. The stuff we pulled out for Horde Knight that we do not need currently. Let's put that there. I used up all my blunderbuss ammo, about half of my... Uh, rifle ammo. I am starting to get low on food again. I don't really want to use some of that stuff. We're going to have to go exploring for food. We need to, of course, uh, finish assessing the damage. Um, oh, junk turret ammo. So I accidentally dropped my junk turret out here. I guess it... Oh, no, there it is. Pick up turret. Okay, I can go put that away. I didn't see it, but it was saying zero of zero, but I guess maybe that was the ammo? I don't know. Where did that junk turret go? There you go. Go in there. You can go in there as well. Let's make a door. We need a door. Door. Craft. <clears throat> now I can make better doors, or I can upgrade this door. We're just going to leave this like this for the moment, though. Uh, doot, 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 doot. There we go. Get you upgraded with the little bit of wood we have. All right. That'll do. All right. Obviously, we need more spikes out here. Let's just kind of take a quick look around. Oh, yeah. We had a bunch of spikes here. Let's just repair what we can. If. There we go. If we can. Do do This one here. Yeah, they definitely busted through this area. Could we uh, repair that, please? Maybe? There we go. Oh, I had it for a second. The hitboxes on these spikes is not perfect. Could you please? We'll, forget, we'll get that eventually. Um, yeah, they came through this trench a bit. Looks like we're pretty good here. Doesn't look like they came along the area where we dug the trench for the most part. There are a few spots where it looks like they hit. So, it looks like they basically decided to run for the front door. Ah, ha, ha, front door. <sighs> Dang it. Yeah, it looks like they basically decided to beeline for the front door. Ooh, this area here got done. Obviously, they must have tried to cut the corner. And then this whole trench here is just gone. Could we, uh... Apparently not. All right. Oh, and we got some here. Could we please? No? I would really like to. All right. So yeah, now we have a little better idea of what we're going to need to face in the future. Obviously, they took out some of these. So it does look like they basically beelined for the doors. Interesting, interesting. Used to be they would just come in straight from whatever angle they were at. And that was going to be that. All right. So we have wasted a bit of time just assessing the damage, but... We're a little bit better for it. So let's go ahead. We need food. We need food. We need to start gathering more resources. This basically becomes a big cycle, but we get better at the cycle as we go, is the theory. All right, we've got this. I'm going to need bone. 
Let's see if I can... Alright, I got some bone out of that. That's good to know. So, basically, what I'm going to do is slowly replace a bunch of those wood blocks with sand with the flagstone, because they're a little bit better. Even though we didn't have any, uh, you know, any losses on that front, I do want to replace it just, you know, so that it's, you know, because I don't know where the thresholds lie for certain things. Like, I don't know if it's searching for durability or... Or if it's just flat out being, uh, like, I'm going for doors first. I don't know how the AI actually processes these things. But, since we're basically getting into a loop here, and we're past the first Horde Knight, I no longer have a problem with the idea of skipping a bunch of time while I do boring things like gather resources. Because, boy, oh boy, are we going to need resources. So, I'm probably going to get some stuff done off camera. There we go. I need bones. That's because because I need more of those repair kits for my tools. And making the glue from the bones is going to... As long as I can get bones, it'll be more reliable than finding duct tape. Because the cloth is easy enough, you can get cloth from all this cotton that's around, which I'll eventually be able to replant. And that'll be fine. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Ooh, schematic! Sawed-off shotgun mod. Yes, please. And now, we're about to hit level 6. As you can see, the XP bar is mostly full from the night. So, we're not going to worry about not getting XP anymore. In fact, we're going to want to push as hard as we can for more XP so that we can get more stuff done. Oh, is that the workbench? <gasps> we got the workbench schematic. Now, see, that things like that right there are the one reason why I am a little worried about skipping time is because when you find something as important as that, you want it on camera. So we just kind of lucked out there with that in particular. All right, let's get ready to go in here. We need food. Oh, that is metal first. And now wood. Hey, I said wood. Oh, hello. Hello there, big lady. Fortunately, you have an... Whoa, easy to hit head. There we go. Nice. I can hear more zombies moving. Whoa! Nope, that was a snake of some sort. Let's uh move away. What the heck was that? Whatever it was, I'm not happy with it. All right. So we're going to want to wrap up the episode here real quick. I was hoping to get some food before that happened, though. Oh, come on. Something's jumped up at me and hit me like that. I don't like it, whatever it was. I'm kind of looking at the ground here, trying to... There we go. Trying to make sure that whatever it is doesn't come back for me. Oh, come on. There we go. Grab a crossbow bolts. Oh, what the? Look at that. That's unfair. That zombie totally just spawned in as I was heading that direction. I was already over here. Come on. Come on. I, I need to improve my skills so that I can... Whoa! Hello! Oh, come on. Oh, oh! No, no! Run! Bandages. I was getting a little overconfident there. Whoa! Why are you just flat out running? You're not supposed to do that. You are not supposed to do that. It is daytime. 
be dead. There we go. And now I don't think... Yeah. It's not going to give me... Once upon a time, you used to be able to harvest zombie corpses for bones. And now, I've run a little long, but I did say previously that this episode might run a little long. <sighs> Alright. We are going to need... Man, there's so much stuff we need. So much stuff we need. Alright, I wanted to get into... Oh, is that... See, I'm concerned about whatever it was that hit me before. Oh, that! That is a snake. Alright. That is a dead snake. But that does mean I should get... Yeah, some more bones. And a bit of meat and leather. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, let's, let's do a real quick search for food. We're gonna grab everything. Oh, really? Ooh, a weapon bag. Oh, some junk turrets, whatever. Metal cupboard. Some honey. Better than nothing. Really. Rubbish. Nothing. Microwave. Give me food. Dang it. Trash. No trash food? Alright, well, that was... A bit of a bust. I was really hoping that that would have worked. You're unlocked. You're just a bed. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh! There's a purse up there with a bit of miso soup. Alright, we'll eat the miso soup to try and gain a little bit of something, something back. I know it's not gonna do much, but we'll go ahead. And we're going to wrap the episode up here. Let me go ahead and pause. I ran a little long, but it was Horde Night, and I kind of wanted to get a little bit into the aftermath of Horde Night. What I'll probably do is go ahead, finish out this day just gathering resources, making repairs, that sort of thing. And we'll come back tomorrow in next episode and move forward from there. Uh, let me know in the comments how much you'd like me to skip and how much you'd like to see. Because like I said, I'm a little worried about gathering stuff and running into important things like that. And I mostly want to do my time skips between episodes rather than trying to pause like I did a bunch of you know times in this episode. Just because it's a little bit cleaner for me. I don't like the, 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 the pause you know, in the middle of the episode thing. But, that's going to do it for this episode. So, until next time, have a good one.